Hi there and welcome to the Car Advice News Desk. Tegan Lawson with a look at what's been making headlines this week. Coming up, an autonomous vehicle crash, some new spy pics and a concept car for the young and young at heart. First up though, Ford has issued a recall. 4,450 2013 and 2014 Cougars and 400 Fiesta vehicles made between 2013 and 15, equipped with 1.6 litre GTDI engines have been recalled over concerns there's a risk of underhood fires. Ford is aware of seven reports of fire associated with these vehicles in Australia, but there have been no reports of injury. Owners of affected vehicles will be notified and advised of the repair process. See the full story now at caradvice.com. Nissan Australia boss Richard Emery has lashed out at the Australian government, saying dealing with it on future automotive technology is amateur hour. Emery says the government takes a very shallow view and doesn't understand the industry. He called out the lack of government support for local charging and electric vehicle infrastructure. Too much bureaucracy and red tape. Meantime, Nissan Australia has confirmed the next generation 2018 LEAF is locked in for a local launch. The little electric car will make its global debut next year and be available in Australia not long after. Still on the subject of electric vehicles and Kia could be planning to get in on the action. A patent for a new e-badge has been filed by the Korean car maker with the European Union Intellectual Property Office. The filing included a new badge and logo based around the letter E. Kia currently produces a sole EV, so this could point to an expanding electric model range or it could be just in case. Details of the new Skoda Vision E have been revealed, along with a few sketches, ahead of its debut at the Shanghai Motor Show in April. The SUV-based, coupe-style concept has two electric motors that provide all-wheel drive when needed and has a driving range of around 500 kilometres. The Uber Autonomous Driving Project seems to be back on track after a crash involving its Volvo XC90 self-driving vehicle. The XC90 was flipped onto its side when struck by a second vehicle at an intersection. The driverless Uber wasn't at fault, the other driver failed to yield. And after being tipped back onto its wheels and checked over, police gave it the all clear and testing is again underway in Tempe, San Francisco and Pittsburgh in the US. A battle is brewing. Chinese automaker Cherry has filed a trademark claim against Mercedes-Benz over its EQ electric vehicle sub-brand. Cherry has previously sold an EQ-badged version of its QQ city hatch and doesn't want the German company selling its EQ-badged vehicles in China. Funnily enough, General Motors had previously declared the QQ a blatant rip-off of the Chevrolet and Daewoo Matiz. What goes around comes around. Meanwhile, the facelifted Mercedes-Benz S-Class has been snapped completely undisguised. Overseas website Saudi Shift published the pics showing a cleaner front bumper design, revised grille, elliptical chrome slats and minor changes to the rear bumper. More spy shots, this time it's the next generation BMW M6 or 6 Series M Sport, possibly a new 8 Series model, we're not quite sure yet. The prototype was spotted cracking laps around the Nürburgring Nordschleife could be a pre-production version of the 6 Series, while rumours have been circulating that the 6 Series will be replaced with a new 8 Series, and it could be an M Sport, but it doesn't have the usual quad tip exhaust arrangement. What do you think? Let us know, leave a comment on the story at caradvice.com. Pricing and specifications for the 2017 MG GS range have been announced. The new SUV from the Chinese-owned British brand will start at $23,990 before on-road costs. The range will be powered by a turbo petrol engine and front and all-wheel drive will be available. And this is not a toy. The global reveal of the Toyota Hilux Tonka concept was held in Sydney this week. It's fun to play with though, based on the flagship SR5 double cab, it has a number of off-road upgrades including heavy-duty suspension, 17-inch alloys wrapped in huge 35-inch tyres, the ride height has been raised by 150 millimetres, carbon fibre bonnet, alloy bash plate and heaps more. Looks awesome and it really was a lot of fun. I'll be back with another hit of headlines next week. Until then, stay calm, take care and be considerate on the road.